The songbook of Rodgers and Hammerstein, I believe, uh, stands the test of time, and it speaks to everyone. I always turned to, to Rodgers and Hammerstein when I felt the program needed relief, needed to be a lifting point where people could come back and connect with their own lives. When I had the choir, I always programmed the encores. The first encore was Climb Every Mountain. Those songs of inspiration, of faith, of hope, those are the ones that have endured. You stay with literature that your audience responds to. You have to sometimes do other things for other reasons. But if you're, if you're trying to maintain your viability in an industry that ch changes so rapidly, you have to find some things that have continuity. One of the reasons why uh, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir continues to sing much of this music is not only is it timeless, but so much of it is what you would call inspirational. One Sunday morning after the broadcast in the summer, an usher came up and said, "Could you, would you mind saying hi to this couple? And the husband had obviously been crying. He couldn't speak. And the wife said, we just had to thank you for the miracle that happened this morning in the tabernacle. She said, my husband hasn't been in a church for five years. He's been angry at God. He hasn't cried. He hasn't grieved. Our son committed suicide five years ago. I had to drag him here this morning. I had to say, it's not a church. It's a tabernacle. And he came, and we had programmed on that day, you'll never walk alone. And when he heard those words, when you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the road is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. And that released his soul. He could grieve, he could cry. He could even talk to God again. And she said, we just had to thank you for what that did. And, you know, the Tabernacle Choir sang it beautifully, but it was the genius of Rodgers and Hammerstein that released his soul. And that's what I see in the music of those people. They go right, right to the heart.